And it is my distinct honor to introduce Attorney uh, General Ken Paxton. He uh, has made the news recently for leading the charge against combating human trafficking. And he uh, created the Human Trafficking Unit in his office that helped shut down Backpage.com. I'm sure a lot of you saw this in the news. It was the largest online sex trafficking marketplace in the United States. His office has also obtained a record number of successful election frauds. He has been um, gratefully the person who has led the charge in this fight against human trafficking and we're honored to have him here tonight. So please help me welcome Attorney General. Thank you for that introduction. Okay, I was just going to say, maybe you should have had me speak for one minute per pray for 20 minutes. That was a really good prayer. Jody, thank you for your great service. I've worked with Jody since I was in Collin County, and we've been through a lot of uh, stuff together. So thank you for, for being here. Thank you for the invitation. What a great group this is on a Monday night. It's a holiday. So thank you all for coming out and for giving me this opportunity to talk about an issue that I really care about. Um, so I want to start off by just saying, what is it that made me focus on this issue? It's not something that I knew much about. It was an area, oh, by the way, did you all know that my wife is a state senator now? So when she was running, I have to tell the story, she was running for state senate. For when, she, when she announced, her, her opponent came out and said something like, this will be an, a very interesting race with Mrs. Ken Paxton. Well, that didn't go over well with her. Um, I just want you to know how grateful I am that occasionally I get introduced to Ken Paxton instead of Mr. Angela Paxton. So thank you all for the introduction to that. Well, so how did I become interested in this issue? It wasn't something I knew much about growing up. I had never heard of it. I didn't know anything about it when I was in the house for 10 years. I learned about it in the Texas Senate. And I was sitting in a committee here, and I think it was Judiciary with Royce West. And Leticia Vandepew, a Democrat from San Antonio, who is no longer an office, ran for lieutenant governor against Sam Patrick, thankfully lost. Um, she had a bill on human trafficking, and I sat there and listened to people testify about these horrific stories that I knew nothing about, didn't know what was going on. And I thought, first of all, how do I not know this? I've been in the legislature for 10 years, why do I not know this? And so I went up to her and I said, Leticia, just, are there any Republicans helping you with this bill? She said, no. I said, well, sign me up. And as a father of three daughters and a son, I, would, I just couldn't help associating that with my kids and what would happen if one of my kids got sucked into this somehow or was kidnapped or whatever. So I promised myself that if I ever had the opportunity, other than helping the teacher with one bill, that I would do something about this issue. And so when I got to the AG's office, it took me about a year because we didn't have any resources. There were no dedicated resources for this issue. And so me a year to find the people and we actually were very fortunate, fortunate to hire a prosecutor that had been heading up the Bear County District Attorney effort to deal with human trafficking, Here's to Melton, and oddly enough, she went to Cornell University and was best friends with my cousin who played soccer at Cornell, but again, that. Um, so, and, and, by the way, I hired her first before I knew that. Um, so anyway, so she has done an amazing job. There, we have three prosecutors total. We have four investigators and we have four other employees to, to deal with this issue. And, and, and it's, it's not something we, got, we had any money for. We just, I just decided this was something that if I could do something about it, I would. So we started this process almost three years ago. And we really focused on three areas. And I really shouldn't say three areas because I learned from our former governor, Rick Perry, a long time ago, you should never say how, how many points you have, just in case you forget one. So, I should say how many. I should say I have several points. The first is partnerships. We have really gone to great, we have, as I said, we have 11 people in our office. That is not enough to stop human trafficking. We have Supposedly over 300 cases going on in the state every year. We have a reported of over 400. We are just a drop in the bucket to, to basically stopping this horrific crime. And you know, it's something that you're, in my mind, that I was shocked is going on, given the fact that we ended human slavery in this country in the 1860s, and yet here we are, right underneath our noses, dealing with slavery of another form. And a lot of people think that it's just smuggling people, but it's really, any time that a person is obtained for profit, 
against their will, it's human trafficking. And, and, and sometimes it's, it's sex trafficking, other times people are brought into this country and they end up in jobs where they're, they're basically captured and they're, 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 they're stuck working and never getting out of this job. So it is a huge problem. Texas is number two in the country for human trafficking. Houston, shockingly, is the worst city in America. There's lots of reasons for that. We're along the border. We have a port city. We're a large state. And we have a huge problem. And there's a lot of things that I know that Texas is famous for. Creating, creating jobs and being a great place to live and having great people. And we make the top of all kinds of lists. The last list I want to be on the top of is human trafficking. And we are, it's way too prevalent a problem for us to, to, to not do something about it. So we really focus first on partnerships. And that's just because we don't have enough people to stop this. And so we are willing to partner with any group, if you know of any groups, we're, we have gone all over the state partnering with groups. And one of the major groups that we partner with has been very effective is the truckers, the National Trucking Association, and also the Texas Trucking Association. Because there are so many truckers out there, we've been part of helping train them. So when they're out there and they see problems, they report it to the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children. And they have reported thousands and thousands of times that so it has made a difference. And we've gone around the state basically doing press conferences, trying to highlight our partnership with these truckers. And we will partnership with schools, chambers, really anyone. And that's the second part of what we focus on. We focus on education. Because the reality is, as I said, we are 11 people. And if we can educate people about the warning signs, and we have the ability to, to make a bigger difference than just the 11. So I want to talk a little bit about what we've done there. We, I think we've, we've done over 250 presentations across the state. We have met with over 20,000 people to talk about human trafficking. Uh, we have put significant resources. In, I don't. How many of y'all have seen our video called Be the One? So a, a good number of people have seen that video. That was something we wanted to get out. It's not your typical government video, would you all agree? It's not your typical government video. I thought really well done, especially for the money that we put into it. And that is really designed to highlight that just the type of women and the type of people that are sucked into human trafficking and let people know that they can make a difference. And all of these vignettes in this, in this documentary, there are four or five. It's about individuals, just normal people like you and me, who actually just took a little time to pay attention. And for instance, there was a guy that was living in the woodlands, and, and he just started noticing that there were lots of cars in this really nice neighborhood in the woodlands, much like Dallas or Collin County, car after car pulling up to his house. And so he started videotaping it. And he realized that there was a problem, he reported it, and ended up breaking up a huge human trafficking ring. One guy just paying attention. Another woman just happened to notice the group of girls. She never saw her except when she came up to deliver the trash. And one day she just walked over and said, are you all right? And the woman said, no, I need help. And she pulled her out of human trafficking. That would be what? That was you? Stand up. Wow. <laughs> Okay, my name is Connie Sasser and I am Be The One. Um, I was trafficked at the age of 13 by my mom for drugs. And the man that bought me kept me for like 10 years. Um, and as he said, my neighbor, my wonderful nosy neighbor, has asked me, was I okay? And I finally got the courage to say, no, I'm not and I need help. And that's when she put the plan together for uh, us to get out. And she rescued me and my children. Um, I have three children, um, whom I love dearly, and I tell this story as well. Um, and he's heard it before. They all graduated at the top of their classes. Um, <laughs> and I was on House Bill 2290, making January human trafficking and prevention up here in the state of Texas as well. And like he said, I rescue now. I rescue and I give back. Um, I take care of them. I love what I do. 
I am here to spread awareness and be the one. It's, it's an amazing video. It's an amazing video. Just not stop it. <laughs> it really is. It teaches a lot, and people always come up to me and say, I learned a lot just by watching this video. And it's played in hospitals um, and in school settings, it's everywhere. So you should be a part of be the one to get involved with the organization that I started. Um, it's going to be okay. And the reason why I started it's going to be okay, because it is going to be okay. Somebody said, you're so happy and happy. <coughs> well, this is me all day long. And I hug, I'm a hugger. And he experienced that as well. And besides, I didn't know where y'all hang in. <laughs> but I'm a hugger because I love to love. Um, it doesn't matter if you're a Democrat or Republican. Um, human trafficking knows no, no Democrat or Republican. <laughs> Everybody can do something, and I was so glad that he did this, and I was asked to be a part of it, and he said, are you sure you're going to be okay? Yes, I'm going to be okay. And this is how he and I formed this, this relationship and partnership is, is through Be The One, because he was the one that took the initiative to say, I want to do more, and I'm going to do more, and I'm going to make this awareness around here in the state of Texas, and just beyond the world, because it's being, it's being shown everywhere. Every city and state I go to, Alabama, Mississippi, I, they talk about be the one. How is that? It went viral. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Thank you for allowing your heart. I want you to know, well, I'll ask you, did, did we plan this? We did not. <laughs> we did not. We, it, it feels random. I really found out about this event at the last minute, and then I called Miss Marty. Where Miss Marty at? Miss Marty heard me had me calling her a couple days in a row, saying, "How you gonna show me the one and the one ain't there?" So, she was like, "No, you gotta be there. It's you." And so she was like, you got to come. And then she had Kayla Carlin to call me. Where is she at? Kayla is Kayla. Is Kay there she is. And she called me and was like, you got to be there. So no, we did not have this plan. We really didn't. It was just by chance that, that I'm here and I was available tonight. Tanya Stafford, uh, with It's Going to Be Okay, Inc. I'm right over here. And I rescue, restore, and we, uh, we need help. Because like he said, it's such a huge problem. And there's not enough beds. I found out one of our organizations here just only have four beds. We need more beds. And that's what it's going to be okay is doing is raising awareness. We are raising funds. We need to build some more homes so that we can take them in and take care of them. I take care of them. I rescue and I put them in other organizations, um, shelters, and I case manage. And I love what I do. Like, I love taking care of them. And that's all they need is for you to take care of them. We're having a Hope and Pearls annual gala. And I think you might have been an invited, and I hope you're coming. Uh, so I'm putting you on the <laughs> um, And it's going to be at the Higher Regency Hotel. And we have over over 50 survivors that will be there. What you gonna call them? Terry Carter donated dresses. Penny Brown donated the shoes. They're going to be absolutely amazing. We have makeup artists that's coming to just pamper them. So we're celebrating survivor, survival. And a survivor celebrates the survivors. I'm a survivor celebrating survivors. I love it. Like, I really love it. It's amazing. You meet them, it's amazing. This is, this is an amazing journey. I promise it's an amazing journey. And to be on this trail with you, it's, it's amazing. It's just amazing. <laughs> and I love you. Okay, you have to say around and ask questions, but I don't know the answer. Give her a round of applause for what she's done. Thank you. Okay, that's even better than having the video. Thank you for that. <laughs> wow. Well, so that's part of what we do. We educate. And people like Tanya are uh, actually irreplaceable because she has a story to tell that lets us know what she had to go through and the pain that she had to suffer through. And yet, there was somebody who stepped up to help her. And so, just like that woman who wasn't expecting to have to be a part of it, she stepped into it. So, this is kind of a fun story. I was. Um, asked by the Austin Country Club to come out and present a trophy, the Dell Match Play. Normally the governor does this, but he was in India trying to make correct jobs and doing whatever governors do in India. And I, I, it was a great day for me. I could follow the golfers around and 
I get to walk on the fairway behind them, which is kind of cool. And so at the end of the day, Bubba Watson won, won the tournament. I, I presented the trophy, and I noticed that at the presentation that there was a guy there that looked really familiar. And I thought, I think I know that guy. I know him. He's one of my neighbors. Turns out he wasn't my neighbor. I think it was Matthew McConaughey. <laughs> <laughs> I get in front of him. Well, so I just walked over to him. And I started just kind of chit chatting with him. And I said, I said, you know, I'm really, I'm in all in an issue that I think you could really help me with. And I said, I really have a passion for this problem. We have a text. He goes, well, what problem do we have a text? I said, it's called human trafficking. Well, louder, please. He said, it's human trafficking. I said, it's human trafficking. And he said, so tell me about it. So I, I gave him the statistics. Now Texas is the worst state. I went through the whole deal and explained to him the, the problem in Texas. And I said, I really would like you to help me. And he said, what, what can I do? And I said, well, you are obviously really well known. And I said, would you consider doing like a PSA with me? And he said, hey, let, let me have my people get with your people. <laughs> And I thought, okay, that's the end of that. I'm never going to see this again. Well, guess what? My people actually got with these people. And uh, we were able to film this video. And, and oddly enough, you know, I'm in the video with him, but most people don't remember that. <laughs> My wife saw it. She asked me if I actually was in the video. The reality was, I didn't get to be there with him because it was the day that Santa Fe victims came in, and I was meeting with Abbott and Patrick. And so the meeting went for about five hours. So they figured out how to split screen us. So it looks like we're together, but he actually filmed his and left, and I don't film my part. The coolest thing for me about that, my, I have four children and three daughters and a son. Daughters, they're, they're, when I started running for office, they were three, five, seven, and nine. So when I became a state rep in 2003, they didn't really know what I was doing. And then 10 years later, they kind of knew what I was doing when I was running for the Senate, and they thought that was, I think they thought that was kind of cool. And then two years later, I ran for Attorney General of Texas, and I actually think they might have been a little impressed. <laughs> but when I did this video with Matthew McConaughey, <laughs> my daughters, all three of them called me and said, Dad, you're kind of a big deal. <laughs> but that video, you know, it's a funny story, but that, that's a true story. That video, within like 36 hours, I think we had over 100,000 views. And that went viral across the nation. We're still using it. I hope you all look at that because if, if you can send that to your friends, it's just another way of making people aware of this issue with somebody that you know, people know. So that's been our second area. And then the third area, prosecutions. And that's what everybody thinks we do. The odd thing is we don't actually have jurisdiction to do that. So how do we do it? We have to get referrals. The only thing that the AG's office can prosecute, oddly enough, is we can do uh, voter fraud. Everything else, the DAs have to refer to us. I don't know if that's the best system, but that's what we have. So we always try to get them to refer, especially some of these counties that have never done it. So we've done prosecutions across the state. We've done 23 prosecutions that have resulted in either a conviction or some type of plea agreement. Um, some of our best, and we had one in New Aces County that we they had human trafficked a 14-year-old, and we got like 40 years on that one. We did the same thing. We did the same thing in. Uh, Austin, believe it or not, the Travis County DA, you always hear about how crazy Travis County DA is. She has to used to work for us. So we have a really good relationship with her, and we help them prosecute, and we actually got another 40-year term, the same thing for a 15-year-old who had been trafficked. And then recently, Jefferson County, there were four of two underage girls and two women that had been trafficked, and we ended up getting 60 years of that. So you know, we are doing our job of trying to go after these people. And as, as when I was introduced, they talked about backpage.com. That happened, that arrest of the CEO of Backpage.com was really kind of the most intriguing thing I've ever done. You know, all these this, these things about bringing this guy, this guy was coming back in from Amsterdam and all the time he had to work out, we were gonna arrest him in the airport in Houston and then immediately go, uh, go to his offices, which are actually in Dallas, headquarters in Dallas. We immediately raided his office, got all their computers, and then we were also working with uh, California, where he had to be extradited first. And so all of that happened very quickly the arrest that, that was within eight months of my uh, starting as human trafficking and uh, transnational crime unit. So the reason we targeted that group is because we thought that they were the art largest online purveyor of prostitution and human trafficking in the world. And we thought, they're in Dallas, let's just go after the biggest. We'll at least send a message. And there'll be other people, if they want to get in this business, at least they'll know we're serious about this. So we were able to arrest them. The guy's now serving time in federal 
federal prison, um, and other states are, are going after him. He's also actually cooperating, so he's actually helped us go after other human factors. So I just wanted to send the message as fast as we could. Hey, look, we may not be able to stop everything, but we are going after the, the worst offenders. If you want to step into that role, then we'll go after you too. So that, that's really how that all plays out. And so we continue to work on prosecutions um, and continue to work on education because we know but I don't want to be prosecuting this stuff. I don't. I want to stop it before it happens. Because if I'm prosecuting it, it means we've already had something really bad happen. So my goal is to educate people. I really hope you guys will watch Be The One. Right? It's really good. And you'll hear her story again. And the way she does it is just so amazing. The other women that are in the stories are just heroes to me. But they were willing to stand up and... and tell their story as hard as that is, and be so open and transparent about the pain that they've suffered. That's why I care about it. I hope that that'll be something that will inspire other people to care about it, because we're really trying to protect, particularly young women, that anybody that gets sucked into this, it destroys their soul, it destroys their life. It is a horrific crime that is shocking that it's happening in the United States, and it's particularly that it's shocking that it's happening so, such, with such problems in Texas. So I hope you'll join me in spreading the word and learning about the warning signs, if you can just see it and identify it, you all can be part of the solution. And that's really why I'm here tonight, is to help and lift more people. So thank you all for letting me be here, and I'm happy to answer questions.